tell you um, uh, okay, there's the Illuminati and then there's the Illuminati tree and my idea is that we can we together are the Illuminati tree and we all come together and we all make the family and so people in this world everybody will get to choose if they want to be in the Illuminati with Elizabeth or the Illuminati tree with us but with us, we don't kill people or eat people or torture people. We heal people and we bring life back to life. And, uh, <clears throat> see, when I get the crown back, okay, it's like this. Um, all the castles and everything that they have, you know, and the clean hordes and everything, um, there'll be room enough for all of us to live together. <laughs> like a family. Like, um, you know, especially the priestesses and the, um, the Earth Kings, you know, that that um, will empower the same Grail, the power of the Grail. Because like I said, we all have the sacred, or I mean, we have the sacred masculine here everywhere, a whole bunch of it, but the sacred feminine is what we're lacking. And once we can bring that feminine energy back into us, um, you know, especially taking care of the men of the world, you know, turning them into Earth Kings and Earth Fathers, making sure they're okay, um, then that will, you know, allow us to have our powers and keep them and they will become stronger and stronger. But the thing is, is like all these people, you know, um, they don't know what to do and they don't know what's going on and stuff, we just need to tell them. But like with us, you know, Queen is such an ego-based title. It's Earth, not, it's not Earth Mother, it's Earth, Earth Mother. All of you who come forward, and I've already got so many of you girls out there that are, um, totally ready to be Earth Mothers and all the love that I'm getting in my emails and stuff and the letters from you guys, oh my god, it's just so awesome. It makes me feel so good. I mean, I cry. Good, the good guy. I mean, my heart just swells up because it's like, oh my god, you know, because I swear, I love you guys so much and then to feel the love back is something you know, I'm not used to, but it's so awesome. But I know that that's where power is and we can make power and magic where we can get our ESP back. We'll be able to um, eventually... Um, levitate, we'll be able to see auras, we'll know if somebody's lying to us or going to hurt us or coming to hurt us or plotting against us, we'll know ahead of time so it will never be able to happen. And see, it's like the Queen has Troy Regas and I want him on our side. That's all, because I think that he has the total potential to be an excellent Earth Father, Earth King, Protector of this world if he can do it. But I want him on our side. So I want him in the Illuminati tree instead of the Illuminati. So it's kind of like me and Elizabeth fighting over him. But I'm not feeling sexual towards him or anything. I feel towards him like a brother, like his brother. Pain in my ass. Um, okay, uh, so Master Mason, Michael Rogers, sweetheart, just hang on a little bit longer because everything's going to be okay. We're going to give you love and protection and everything's going to be fine. And Elizabeth can't hurt you or do nothing to you because if she does, we'll all know it. And guess what else, you guys? Um, David Ike contacted me personally. And trust me, he's going to be taking the story and he's going to be coming to interview my Master Mason. And um, he's going to be coming to talk to all of everybody that I show him to. But in a good way, though. So you guys can start to, um, uh, you know, start to get your crowns back. Because the world will protect you. Once you're in the spotlight, you know, the heroes. You guys will be heroes. Michael, Master Mason, Michael Rogers. You will be a hero. You will be, every, the whole world will just love you. Because, you know, you are so special and you don't have to go through this pain anymore. All this pain that you're feeling, I can heal you. I know I can. Especially now that things are happening in order to give me my healing powers back, which is love. So we love you. We're not going to leave you stranded there. David Icke is coming up from um, England and he's going to be here and he's on our side now. And um, they got my video posted on his website, on Alex Jones' website too. Um, and all the things that you guys have been writing about me and stuff, it's just so sweet. And I, I, will, I, will, I will definitely live up to what you expect, you know. I mean, we will all walk together. We will walk and we will face the problem face to face and say, look, you know, once we all eyes around Elizabeth and say, okay, boy, what are you doing? We're not going to have war. We're not going to hurt her. It's just who we are. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Everybody, look at her. Make her tell us what it is she's doing. Why, you know, something, she can't just keep running and dodging us and hiding, and neither can Troy Regan. 
So I wanted to tell you, um, Troy and all the Hells Angels, I decided I'm not going to trespass today. <laughs> I don't, but here in Las Vegas, I'm not going to do that. I'm waiting until um, the street vibrations in September when I go to Reno. And whether you guys are in town or not, I'm still going to the Hells Angels Clubhouse in Reno, Nevada, where Troy Regis is charter is. And I will jump that fence. And I will sit there and I will swim in the pool and I will write and I will talk to the cameras and microphones, you know, because they have them all over. And I will play with the dogs. And no matter how mean you make your dogs, they won't hurt me. They'll always love me because I love them. But that's what I'm going to do my own. Um, that's what I'm going to jump in. <laughs> I don't break in. I jump in. Um, and what else? Why um, has good things to say? Put it on pause while I think for a minute. Okay. And so, and also, I think it's... Nathan, shh. Um, please. Um, the, another thing we'll be doing, too, is we'll be going out and we'll be picking our kings. We'll be choosing the kings, the ones that we're going to make earth kings and earth fathers. And everybody that has, like, titles and thrones, but their titles make them, like, all powerful. You know, all these high-ranking and titles and stuff. But if the people's power doesn't equal their title then they're going to have to either get the power to equal their title or and become worthy and capable of that throne or they're going to have to like be fired and there'll all be all kinds of um, openings for all kinds of jobs but the, I'm talking about the jobs of the world the Illuminati's jobs that they do to run the world well we're just going to go through and we're going to um, you know make sure that whoever sits in that throne who's in our who's whoever sits in those thrones and who's in charge of our world and who's running things, if they're not doing a good job, and if they're not worthy or capable, and if their powers do not equal that of which they um, claim, self-proclaimed gods, what they are, but if they don't, then we're going to replace them. And But see, then we can all go on the search for our earth fathers and earth mothers and stuff and pick everybody out. And um, so David Icke will be... Um, He'll be the first one crowned. I already tell you that. He's going to be the first one to get his crown because he's making this all possible because he has the voice that can make it sure everybody hears us calling them home. You know, and um, that's the thing is if they don't know, we're here looking for them. And if they don't know that there's hope and there's miracle and everything's going to be okay, then they won't know it. And they'll be really sad. And I don't like that. It really it makes me sad a lot, all the time, really. See, Troy, he's blocked out a lot of his childhood. You know, he um, certain. You know, he he has not let himself think about those thoughts, and so I know that right now it's like must be like hot wax being thrown on him or something like that. Just to feel and remember and think about these things I'm bringing up that he has tried not to think about or that he has not thought about. You know, but you got to figure. You know, Troy Regis and his family, I mean, well, and their family have been so rich and so connected and stuff. You know, and the MK Ultra. If you look on the internet and you look under technology surveillance and the Hell's Angels and Troy Regis and Dave Burgess, you'll find that they're way big time into that. The mind control and the MK Ultra, like um, what the Illuminati was doing, what the Hitler was doing, and the Nazi scientists, which is. Um, the people that they kidnap and stuff are using them as mind control experiments and like torturing them and making them have different parts, different alters in their minds so that they can um, control them and have them do certain things for them, all kinds of stuff, and then never remember what they do. Um, I'm out of time in almost a second. I love you guys. It's a miracle on the horizon. I promise you everything is going to be okay. Okay? I promise you. It's all right. Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> I promise. It's going to be okay. Just hang on tight. It's going to be the bumpiest ride of your life. But we will get through it. Just hang on, okay? I promise you it'll be okay. I love you. Peace. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.